Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 88 of our Crusader Kings 2 West African Merchant Republic series. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, the main thing we managed to do is uh, we got rid of the Kingdom of Hungary, or Croatia rather, I'm sorry, the Kingdom of Croatia in some uh, miraculous way. Oh, and this guy is actually suffering attrition. Supply limit is 100, are you... What? 100? If they're all gonna die next next month, I'm actually gonna be really upset. No, only half of them died. My goodness, that's so damn poor. Even technology is not uh, helping. Okay. Also, I found out that we we have couple of people who is our uh, vassals directly, but oh, that shouldn't be like this because we have kings in here. So this guy of Pisa should be the vassal of someone underneath Italy, so let's go and transfer vassalage of the guy of Pisa, hopefully, to someone else. Who are you? Is it... Hmm, is it sorted, uh, being sorted in the right way or not? Probably not. Why can... What my... <laughs> Shikdom of Pisa. Is this place. Mm, why can't I... Just give you to anyone. Emirate of Pisa. So. Do we want to have... Guy of Pisa? Okay. So this way is actually working. Even though this guy is not my direct vassal, the Duke of Pisa, but I still could do it this way, okay? The guy of Trent, he is my direct vassal, probably because we have no Dutch of Lombards created, and I don't want to create it because I actually hold most of the holdings in here, okay? Anyone else need to be transferred? Couple is a part of Sicily, so no. These guys are part of Pannonia, this guy is part of Serbia. Okay, so it's only one for now. But yeah, uh, also, we now we have our vassal limit back below the line, so we could start attacking some more. And actually my son requires an educator, so let's go and find some vassal, uh, vassal who want uh, to teach him. And yeah, it's probably time for me to attack Salerno. And get some, like, the Dutch of Apulia. So yeah, let's go and start moving our armies to here. And I think they should... Uh, they should meet in uh, one province and suffer any attrition, so... They should be probably fine. We still have this Dejure claims. Uh, on stuff, which I'm not planning on pressing anytime soon. We also have a weak claim on Shikdom of Beirut, but yeah. I'm not planning to attack this thing as well. And yeah, uh, I already m uh, noticed that these guys somehow managed to be West African, even though Terpimirovich dynasty is actually probably, yeah, the kings of... Uh, it's, it is a dynasty of Croatia, the ruling dynasty of Croatia. And all of a sudden this guy is West African, but he have a strong claim on Croatia and strong claim on Serbia. I don't think he would be declaring a war for this, so doesn't really matter. But yeah, I'm actually I was pretty damn surprised when this thing just collapsed all of a sudden when I plotted against the girl who was a king, uh, uh, queen. Oh, we also have a couple of prisoners available for ransom. So let's go and. Ransom them right away. Something just happened. I clicked through the event also. How is our council doing? Our shift diviner is still in the Badajoz. And Badajoz is still not converted, okay? Spymaster is learning technologies is fine. Steward is collecting taxes. You are researching military tech and you improving in this place in the Canaris. But this guy is already 
liking me quite a lot. So you probably should be moved to some other place. Like this. Because this guy's the leader of the faction, so improving relations with him might help uh, to get him away. Yeah, let's just go and declare a war on Salorn, uh, Salerno. Uh, the Holy War for Apulia. I don't think they're gonna have any reasonable allies, so I wouldn't even try to check. We also have our truce with Mohalovic expiring pretty soon. Don't you don't you say that this king or this war with Nubia is still going? Actually pretty surprised. It looks like Nubia is still winning. But now they're having their my Fizit uh, revolt. So that's actually never mind. And no, maybe Nubia even would manage to win this war. I would be actually really surprised about this. Uh, looks like these guys managed uh, to hire some mercenaries or a holy order, something like this. So let's go and destroy them before they're gonna be able to run away. Also, what is this army? We have some kind of revolt happening in them. Tarantian Peasant Revolt. 4500 troops. Are you freaking kidding me? But I think I don't even need to fight with them. I could avoid them and just go... Yeah, just go and siege uh, the provinces I declared a war for. But the problem is that they have full garrisons and stuff. Okay, but the host just uh, got converted. Great, let's go and move you some other place like Thesaurus. Or whatever it's called. We have a better one prison here. Okay, I'm gonna be changing you then. And we're going to try to uh, convert this place. So yeah, let's say in pretty bad that they have full levies, but we have so much uh, so much troops, so I wouldn't mind assaulting this as I always do. So let's go and do this. Just to speed up this war a little bit. Not a little bit, but, but by quite a lot. Because in sieging it, uh, sieging it in a regular way is gonna be really damn slow. Uh, there are two peasant families in Apulia who have been locked in a bitter feud for generations. Uh, this conflict has now escalated to the point where it's even discussing circles on nobility. Also, this feud for would normally be far beneath your notice. This could be a golden opportunity to practice your diplomacy. Let's go and try this. Do we have ability? Uh, do we have any... How do you call it? Ambition to improve our diplomacy? I don't think so, so... Why is this event... Event is even popping? I don't know, but okay. How's our children? Do we have any new ones? We do not. Our concubines is so damn awful. Actually, it's probably... The problem is probably in us, because we are chased, and we are actually infirm. So yeah. Minus 30 and minus 15, so minus 45% fertility is definitely problematic. Uh, appeal to their sense of reason. Plus one diplomacy, great. But it doesn't really matter because we are in firm, so... I don't think we're actually gonna live long enough from now. And the funniest part is that our air is also in firm. So it's still a question... Who would be able to live longer, me or my heir? But it doesn't matter. As long as we are winning the election, it's fine. I am actually really surprised that someone who is informed could have so much respect. But all, all that matters for the respect is age and prestige. It doesn't really care about your points and your health, so why not? It looks like couple more of the siege is gonna be enough to win the war, yes, 100% already. Let's go and take the lands. Come on. Nice. And now you are alone against this 4k peasant revolt and you only have 2k, so I don't think you're gonna survive. But it's fine. Okay, time to create some random vassals. Oh, we have Knight's Hospital or sitting in our holding. That's fun. And what if I want to take this thing from them? Oh, yeah, I could definitely declare a holy war for them. And this is actually their own uh, 
their only holding. But I'm not gonna be declaring this war right now. Just, I don't know. I'm gonna let them sit in here for some time. I don't think it's gonna hurt me too much. So, man, not in prison. Any marriage, not a ruler. My religion, my culture. Adult, not a great house. And the stewardship. Uh, okay, why do we have so few people to choose from? It's kind of strange, but okay. So, you're gonna receive this thing. You're gonna receive this thing. And you're gonna receive the last one. And now we need to create a Dutch of Apulia. Oh, I could not create it because he still holds it for some re reason, even though he have no no titles in it or no holdings, the jure holdings in this uh, thing. But okay, as soon as his person travel gonna finish, we're gonna be able to absorb the duchy. And actually, I might help him with this by putting down the rebellion, but should I do this? I don't know. Just to speed up the process. <coughs> okay. The Adalusia wants to destroy my trade post again. But no, my high stewardship not gonna allow you to do this. This one stupid, stu uh, this one stupid trade post in Rosella, or yeah, Rosella, is uh, giving me some problems, but. As long as we're gonna have enough stewardship, it's not gonna matter too much. Also, when we're gonna be able to create the Duchy or Kingdom of Sicily, we only hold 25% right now. God damn it. Even if we conquer the rest of the Apulia, or Sarz Salerno, yeah, Salerno, it's still not gonna be enough. Three more holdings gonna get us up to 7 out of 16, and it's not even 50%. So... If I want to have the Kingdom of uh, Sicily created, I would need to attack Byzantine Emperor. And it's probably gonna be problematic. But okay, we'll see what we could do about this. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna help him put down this rebellion because I'm too lazy to wait for him. And yes, soon as I'm gonna destroy this army. Nice, we're getting one marshal. We're leading the combat while infirm. That's pretty damn harsh. And we managed to imprison someone. Oh, we managed to imprison their prison or uh, their peasant uh, leader. That's cool. It's probably no. It's not gonna give him any war score, but. When the army is gonna be completely gone, uh, he should have 100% war score. Oh! We are infirm and wounded. <laughs> That's what you get w uh, when leading combat while infirm. You're getting wounded. Okay, 100%. You're gonna finish your rebellion right now. Uh, so, let's go and usurp the title. It's mine. So, who needs to have this? Oh! You are content right away, so there's nothing else to think about. So you're gonna receive the Republic of Apulia. And that's great. We are below our vassal limit again. Someone just got converted to our religion. It's fine. And Hospitalars. Should I attack you right away or not? Probably yes. I want this last one holding. And it's upgraded quite a lot. And it's your only holding, so if I'm gonna capture this, you probably gonna just disappear. Or probably not. You actually have teacher or title, so you're probably just gonna ask some other or some other people or some other dude uh, to build a castle in, them, uh, in their holding. But yeah, I'm just gonna go and assault it, get 100% war score right away, and. It's gonna become the de jure part of our holding. Oh, we managed to... <laughs> managed to capture your wife. Uh -huh. And why this is not... Not enough war score? Occupation of this place. Okay. 
Oh, they have some... Oh, you have vassals even? No way. Okay, I'm gonna siege your vassal as well, if it needed. But actually I should start getting... Seeking war score. Or oh, never mind, he is... He is surrendering. So this place is gonna become... The vassal of... Uh, of my guy of Apulia, and he's gonna be even happier about... Granted county, granted duchy, and pressed my claim. So yeah, this guy is just... Uh, just loving me completely. So, okay, what about hospital ras actually? Are they disappeared? They probably... Actually, yes, looks like. This baron is not... Is not anyone's leash and or does not have a leash anymore. How is this even possible? These guys are leashes of or these guys have a uh, Duke of Salerno as their leash, but this one guy is seems to be independent. And how's how's anyone could be independent while having only one barony? I don't know, but I guess it's fine. Actually, never mind. Night Hospitalers are still uh, still exist, but they have no callings. So yeah, as I said, they probably just gonna go and ask someone else uh, to give them place to build their holdings. My grandson needs an educator. Let's go and find a vassal as always. Why are you hating me? Desire the most serene republic of Mali. Yeah, I also want to get rid of it, but I'm unable to because of reasons. Also, yeah, we already control in Rome, and it's actually already got converted to our religion. No one seems to be trying to take it, even in like crusade or stuff. Probably because they are having problems themselves, because Fraticelli religion is actually... Uh, taking quite a lot of land, so Catholics are probably not gonna be uh, not gonna be dominant religion for too much time. So okay, now that we're done with the Salerno, who the hell gonna be the next to attack? Probably, probably Pannonia, because we already have one duchy on the Jure Duchy of Pannonia. Oh, my grandson is 16. Let's go and find you a wife. Mm -hmm. Anyone who is lustful. Oh, a genius who is 15 years old. And when is your birthday? In May. So it's still too much time. Grey Eminence. Sounds great. 100 gold. Sounds uh, fine as well. So, these guys are going to be moving here. Yeah. We already have one duchy. Zero, uh, the sure duchy of Pannonia. So... It would be nice to try to usurp this kingdom, even though it's gonna be probably really damn problematic because this guy have tons of lands. So maybe I shouldn't be trying to do this. Burgundy. What are you doing here? Kingdom of Burgundy. Oh, it's actually now independent because I'm pretty sure that uh, Kingdom of Burgundy was actually holded by some guy of the Germany. So, I have a possibility right now to uh, somehow destroy Burgundy and, yeah, try to destroy this title and try to make the Burgundy my vassal. So, looks like it's gonna be our next target because we already have Provence, who is the sure part of Burgundy, and also we have Upper Burgundy, who is the sure part of Burgundy. So, we only need to, like, take I don't know, maybe two, three wars, because this guy still controls this one place. Even though it's not even a de jure part of his uh, of his lands, but yeah, he's still gonna be able to sit in here, holding the title of Kingdom of Burgundy, even if I'm gonna take all of the de jure lands. So, let's go and move our people somewhere to bore this place. I don't know how to call it Bourgeonnet, something like this and yeah uh, we're gonna probably take him from this place and in the holy war for 
the thin is three holdings, this place is three holdings, and Tyrol is one. So we're just gonna choose one of these two titles, but it's gonna be happening in the next episode, because it's already time for me to have a break, guys. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, you could subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I'll answer you soon as you could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.